Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I really wanted to do this craft, this little DIY. I did this exact same DIY when I was a wee little girl back in elementary school and my mom still has the ornament and still hangs it every year. So it's pretty cool. I picked up a magazine the other day. It is the Absolute Underground. They are always free. They are a metal magazine based in Vancouver and it's just quality content. It's really the only magazine that I care to pick up. It's awesome and on the cover this Christmas. So stoked about this. In the very far bottom we have a cute little illustration from FUBAR. Now if you don't know what FUBAR is already, it's basically just Albertan debauchery. It's a series of movies from these two dudes, Terry and Diener, and they're hilarious. They're so good. It's just basically about crushing pills in their beers, getting fucked up, making jokes. It's just good. If you like Trailer Park Boys, they are close friends, so you'll really enjoy FUBAR. Sometimes you go to a party, right? And everyone's all fucking loaded. And you're not loaded, so you go up to people and you're like, hot corn, and then they're like, Woo! and then you're like, yeah, okay, and you're trying to talk to them a bit, and they're fucking loaded, and then you realize the only way to keep going is to catch up to them. So you shotgun a few, and then you get good and pissed right away. I love it. The movies were filmed here in Calgary, it's where they live, so they're really just local celebrities to us. Uh, both of them are our heroes, we adore them, so cool. Anyways, as I was saying, I really want to turn this wreath into a Christmas ornament. I think it would be so, so cool. And it doesn't take too much effort, doesn't take too much supplies, so I thought I could Film it for Vlogmas. In order to make the tiny little thin piece of paper a little more structured, a little bit more like an ornament, I'm using a piece of recycling. First step is to crush a case of Pilsner, as you do in the FUBAR world. And I'm gonna be using this cardboard to give it some structure. You're also gonna need some scissors, of course, to cut out piece. I'm using a hole punch. This is mainly for leather, but I'm going to use it today so I can thread some ribbon through. You could use twine, rope, string, whatever, a shoelace if you're D-beat, and some glue. I couldn't find a glue stick for the life of me. But I did find this spray-on adhesive from Elmer's, so I hope it works. Hope it doesn't ruin my DIY, but we're gonna see. Thankfully, magazine's always free, so if I fuck it up, I'll just get another one. Guess what I'm going to do first. Cheers. Is cut this bad boy out. So I'm just gonna cut all the way around the wreath and unleash these guys from the magazine. Sorry? Terry followed Jake on Instagram. Oh yeah? And he got real excited and texted Sweet. me about it. <laughs> okay. It smells nice. Yeah, it's sticky. Mm -hmm. Get all the air bubbles out. <laughs>
There you have her. Now you can give her all through the holidays. How cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this super foolproof, super easy Christmas DIY. I hope you guys can find some fun magazine clippings to make into your ornaments this year. The world is your oyster, you got everything. You can make anything into an ornament with a little bit of recycling. Goes a long way. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this episode of Vlogmas. Yeah. Until next time, I will uh, talk to you soon and uh, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a lovely holiday, whatever it is that you celebrate. And uh, I will I will see you very soon. Love you. Oh, give her a